welcome to uh, Air Rifle Festing. I'm back at this farm here, um, just doing my zero check, 50 yards of my FX impact. I'm actually gonna do some crony tests today, uh, just to see what my current uh, velocity is with the H&N 25 grain Gen 2 slugs. There we go. Nine fifty-eight, Nine eighty one, nine eighty four, nine eighty four, nine eighty one, nine seventy nine. That's eight shots. We have two more. Nine eighty six. One more. 986. So that's about 54 foot pound of energy. Okay, I'm going to try the spinner at 50 yards. Hit. 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 Three quarter inch. Hit. So last one half inch. Miss. Hit. Okay, took me three shots for the half inch. Gonna continue to do more shooting just to dial in, maybe adjust my bow. Close it in and see where my speed is, and then if I can get the group tighter. So right now, the group is about an inch within. So that's 50 yards. Uh, yeah, let me pause and then continue. So I'm gonna do the Jumbo Monster redesign, 25.4 grain with my impact out to 50 yards. I'm just gonna see, uh, check out the crony and see how many shots I get per fill. Uh, from today, 240 bar, and hopefully down to um, 150. So, here we go. Nine sixty-three, nine seventy, nine seventy-four. So it's three shots in the same hole at fifty yards. Nine seventy-four, nine seventy-two, nine seventy-nine. 970, 974, 972, one more, 970, so that's about 53 foot pound, 53.5 maybe, it's compared to my um, H&N Gen 2 25 grain slugs. So it seems like this is going a little bit slower uh, than my slug, but anyway, the accuracy is, is pretty good. It's, it's touching 50 yards. Uh, point of impact is slightly high. Okay, I'm gonna continue shooting and um, 
see how many shots I get. I'm gonna go for the target now. Hit. Hit. The point of impact same sounds a lot louder than the slug, I don't know why. Last one, half inch. So clear all my eight shots target. So very good. Um, the redesign has always been very good in my gun. So definitely um, a good hunting pilot. So that's 18 shots. Um, I'm gonna continue to uh, smash this splinter. Let's see how many shots I get overall. Okay. So round two spinner so that's round two clear very consistent with the redesign i just have the hole under half a mil dot uh, versus my uh, slug so that's 26 shot i'm gonna keep going seven Okay, go for the target box. The wind is pushing right to left now. But I'm still hitting hole and hole. I'm still running about 974. Yeah, one big rugged hole. 38 shots. Back to the spinner. So it gets tricky when the wind's blowing. Especially for half inch. Not sure where is it hitting. I'm going to use the target box as a marker. So slightly to the left. That's why I missed it. So that's 48 shots. So we're gonna hit the half inch now. There, so have a little bit less. So the difference, or well the main difference between the slug and the pellet is the slug can retain, um, has better BC uh, ballistic. So it bucks the wind slightly better, so less drift, whereas the pellet um, it, it get pushed quite a bit so with my slug I can hold square straight to the crosshair and I can hit the target uh, fairly good and slight wind comes and it will push this uh, pellet this redesign off course slightly so yeah just have to compensate for it uh, depending on the wind condition other than that the uh, JSB is really good um, so that's 50 yards comparison between the slugs and the JSB. So I'm gonna continue shooting to see how many shots I get out of um, uh, these uh, jumbo. And then uh, once the velocity dropped off, then I'll top it off and I'll push uh, back to 60 yards. So half inch, I'm out. So that's two magazine. That's 56 shots. Let me see I can get uh, one more magazine because with the slugs I can get uh, three magazine of 29 so that's pretty good uh, this is a high power 54 foot pound uh, of energy so obviously if I can if I tune it down to shoot less speed and uh, lighter grain I should get more shots per fill. My reg pressure is set at uh, 145, I think. Yeah, something like that at 140. 
So after this third magazine, I probably have to um, top it off again. Yeah, it's a beautiful day today, super hot. It's gonna be in the high 20s. So we'll see how hot it gets this, uh, this weekend. And uh, I'm still trying to hunt the coyote at this farm. And so far, no luck yet, but uh, a lot of activities of the coyote coming and going. So I'm going to continue to feed the uh, bait, the rats that I shoot. So last night I went to another farm, I shot um, I think 12 rats and I collected 8. So tonight I'm going to come back just to leave the, uh, the bait there and hopefully the coyote will find it, find them. If not, then the eagle will probably pick them off. Yeah, so okay, 56 shots. So let's go 57. Just graze it. So that's 65 shots. I'm still at 972. So pretty consistent. Okay, let's finish the magazine. So I'm below the reg already. Um, that's why it sounded loud. So the reg pressure, I mean the, the, the pressure in, in my plenum is lower than my regular pressure. So that's why also they get louder. Yeah, so I'm at 120 bar right now. Um, velocity drop from 972 down to like 951. So I'm gonna stop there because I'm already past my uh, my red pressure. So yeah, unfortunately I didn't get uh, three full magazine in this case. Um, yeah, one, two, three. 66 shots. Uh, I'm gonna shoot the FX Crown with the air arm 18 grain. 50 yards. We'll see uh, what my velocity is. And uh, hopefully, I can get my accuracy check as well. But this guy has always been consistent, so not too concerned about it. But uh, still nice to be able to check the point of impact occasionally just so I can adjust my uh, elevations and my windage and keep the gun in check and uh, consistent so anyway just loading up the uh, 18 grain air on pellets right now so we'll see what the speeds are um, and then how many shots I get out of this one Not reading my radar. No, it's not reading it. Seven. So that was one magazine. Let's do the half inch last shot. I'm holding for wind, right to left. Miss. Got it. So I'm gonna click one click down. So that's two magazine. I'm down to 190 
from 220. So, like I said, this uh, FX account of mine is very uh, consistent. That's why I use this a lot for my um, starling shoots and stuff. Pigeons. I'll fill up this magazine as well. See, maybe I can get four magazine. It's pretty quiet today. No, no pigeons, no starlings at this farm. This morning I went to another farm where there used to be plenty of uh, starling, but when I got there, I didn't see anything. So I didn't plus the farmer, uh, they were busy on the field, so I decided to um, come here instead and just do some uh, zero checking and speed verification and stuff. Okay. Let's continue. This is magazine number three. So that's third magazine. Let's go to fourth. And I'm at one one eighty. So that's really good. So this gun is very, very uh, um, consistent and efficient with my tune. Unfortunately, I didn't have the speed verification today, but I think I was running about 950. Might be slightly less, I'm not sure, but hopefully I'll find out later. So my spinner is really good tool to have to check your accuracy at different sizes of target. So I have it from two and a half um, all the way down to half inch. So it's a very good uh, system to check your accuracy. So if you can hit a three quarter inch, then you know your, your gun is sub MOA. And uh, if you can hit a half inch, even better, right? I missed my half inch there because of the wind. Got it. So it's a good practice tool for the spinner. So I highly recommend it if you uh, want to practice your training. To have something like this, uh, that way you can hit different sizes at various distances to know what your limit of your gun and your your ability as well and that way you can make improvement upon it. So just practice them uh, until you get it right. Just graze it. So also with the spinner, you can use it to practice your speed shooting, um, especially for, for hunting, pesting in this case, is with the starlings landed and then you quickly take a shot and then follow up to do a second shot on a different target maybe. So there's a good practice with the spinner as well, other than uh, not only just checking your accuracy, but also give you target for you to, to, to quickly reload, take a second shot, and then follow up and all that stuff, so. So that's it, so that's four magazine. And I'm at 165. So my reg pressure for this FX crown is 135-ish. So it's really good uh, efficient. Um, so like I said, that's four magazine. I, I'm gonna go push one more, five. Out of pellet, so let me go get some more pellet. So, I got six magazine through. Um, that's plenty. 18 shots. So, I'm pretty happy with this gun. I probably could do another 10 shots uh, before it reaches my, my reg 
at 135 but uh but that's good enough six magazine that's really 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 good so anyway uh it's getting hot there's no bird so i'm probably gonna quit for the day and uh come back later on so anyway thanks for watching hope i see you in the next one cheers